Welcome to Plowman's Backyard. My name is Kendra and today we are talking about our Let Pot hydroponic growing system. And I have to tell you, I've always been interested in hydroponic growing, but I've kind of been intimidated just because I didn't know enough about it. But with the Let Pot um, system that we have here, it's made it really easy. And I've been amazed at how simple it was. And I can't believe that I've waited this long. So I'm really thankful to Let Pot who had sent us this uh, system and just helped me to realize that there's nothing really to be intimidated about. So if you're like me and have always kind of wondered about hydroponic it growing but have been kind of shying away from it because you didn't quite understand it this is a great little system to start out with you can see all the great stuff that came with it uh, we got the sponges for the grow medium little baskets to put the sponges in you've even got these little greenhouse covers just to create humidity for the, the germination of the seed this is another really cool thing just goes over here and it's going to let us know when we need to add water to our hydroponic system then we've got some support rods for things that are growing tall and we've got some labels just so that we know what plants we're growing Growing. The first thing we want to do is we want to collect the plant medium. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to be adding water to these containers. We got plant food A and plant food B, which we'll be adding to our hydroponic water system. In plant food A, it's a, a few tabs in here. So I'm just going to go ahead now and add the water to that carefully as I can. I'm making a mess. Okay, the lid back on and it says to shake really well. because You're just wanting to um, dissolve those tabs and then we got plant food B. We're gonna do the same. We're gonna add water and just to the top and dissolve plant food B. So basically for every liter in your growing system, you wanna add five milliliters of plant food B and five milliliters of plant food A. This is for the water level which is quite cool. So as we have water in here, it's gonna be up and as it goes down we we'll know because we won't be able to see in here because the plants will be growing. And we're gonna be putting the water into here. The nice thing about this is there's a little section over here where you can go ahead and add the water um, as you need to fill up. And then we have all of our little baskets. And this one holds 12 plants. You can get larger ones or smaller ones. Our little water gauge just sits on here, perfect. And you'll see that as there's lots of water, it's just gonna raise up like that and just let us know when we need to replenish the water. The nice thing about this system is that we can start down low. Um, when you're starting out your seeds, you basically want the light to be as close as like to the germination area. And as your plants grow, um, there's lots of space like this grows quite tall and it's using LED broad spectrum which is awesome I love using that other little baskets just gonna go right up into here perfect so now the next thing we want is we're gonna start out with a liter of water, which I've got a liter here. So now I'm gonna go ahead, I'm just gonna add five milliliters of plant food A, one liter. And we're gonna do five milliliters of plant food B. And you're just gonna wanna give that a bit of a stir. And I'm gonna go ahead and gonna add the water into this little trough here. Brought it up a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue adding water until we've got up to our max capacity of water. The fifth liter going in. Whoops. All right, and we've reached our max. The next thing we're gonna do is just add our seeds. I'm basically just gonna go for lettuces. These are seeds that I saved from my own garden. I just have some uh, thyme seeds as well because I do use thyme throughout the winter uh, when I have like colds and sore throats. So I wanna have some of this on hand. So far, I've just picked out some lettuces, spinach, chard, and a tiny Tim cherry tomato. I'm just curious to see if it's gonna grow and if we can actually get a tomato. You can see here there's a hole. So it says to put about two to three seeds in each sponge and then we're just gonna put it in its little holder. Get the third lettuce seed, there we go. So there's one and I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put that down in its little container which the water is gonna absorb and expand that. And then we've got these little covers. They're like little greenhouse covers that increase humidity for germination. And I've got my little seeds, I'm just gonna Right it. Oh, drop one. And ooh, we got spinach. Rainbow chard. I love chard. Eat it as a salad, green or fry it up. Don't know if we need three of these. And anyways, I think I'm just gonna, th these are so big. So I'm just gonna put two in that one. I'm gonna do just lettuce in this last one. And then my tiny Tim somewhere over here. It's gonna need more room. Put two in there because I only got a couple left. I'm gonna need to save some of these seeds the following year. I'm gonna put that in the middle just so that it's got space to grow. There we go, it's planted. Now we just gotta turn the machine on. All right, so it's plugged in. It says to do a long press 
on the button for three seconds. The device will make a long beep sound and come on to a scan mode for Wi-Fi connection. The power button's up here, and then we have a veggies and herb growing mode, which if you press that button, um, it transitions into more of a red, blue, and white spectrum that is specifically designed for um, vegetable and herbal growth. And then there is a flower uh, button as well, but it's also for fruit. So once the tomato starts to flower in that, we might have to switch over to the fruits and flowers. And what that does is it shifts to a red and white only, and just discards the blue light just to promote um, flower growth and fruit growth. So that's really cool. And then up here also there is a pump button and a Wi-Fi button. So the Wi-Fi is kind of on standby and it just allows us easily to connect our smartphone and the LetPot app to this machine so that we can control it through our phone as well as the pump to activate or deactivate the pump because underneath here the water isn't stagnant. There is a steady flow underneath here. There is a pump that is circulating the water, allowing air to get in and feeding and giving nutrients to the plants. So most seeds can actually be grown in this uh, germination hydroponic system as long as the plants are suitable to the environment and the temperature. There's also some blackout stickers we can put on if the certain seeds need no light, which there are certain seeds, but the things that I'm growing here, they seem to be fine with the light. I can see here that the sponges are already starting to absorb water. So as you can see, we're at a about day 30. I think we could have probably started harvesting about day 22, maybe even day 20. So we've got different types of lettuces growing here. Um, I've got some nice, beautiful chard, a great salad, really. So I did some Tiny Tim cherry tomatoes. As you can see, they're growing quite well, but we don't have flowers or fruit yet. Tomatoes typically take longer than lettuce anyway. We also have in the back, we have some thyme that's kind of been a slow start, but it generally starts slow anyways and then we had a few over here you can see that are quite smaller and what happened was I think we tried to plant some spinach and it didn't grow well I think it was really just old seed once we decided you know what we're gonna put something else in there these became a bit behind and because these plants were so large these really didn't get a shot just because of the lack of light that they're getting there's an app for the let pot um, growing system as well that you can control everything from the app on your smartphone phone or smart device. So the nice thing about that is if you're away from home or you know away for a couple days you can actually change the time that the lights come on and off. You can uh, change the light settings because there's specific um, LED light settings that are good for root system development and then there's others for flower growth and fruit growth. So you can change that all from your smartphone or you can do it manually um, on the buttons on the top. I love that you can adjust the height of this. We started it quite low. We've just been adjusting that with the the height of the plant the other thing is is really cool is that it's got the little um, water monitor so we know when to add fresh water and plant food and it's really simple there's a little spot here where you don't even need to do anything but just add the water really easily to it this is a great alternative to have fresh greens in the winter so my plan is today is to, we're going to be harvesting this and making a little salad out of it I'm very excited to have fresh chard especially I'm just going to harvest um, the largest right now so we'll let the rest of it grow anyways that's looking really good still lots to grow and with the plant food it's giving it nourishment um, that it needs that it would normally get in the soil so they're just going to keep growing which is awesome and the roots are phenomenal you should see the root development underneath so you don't want to take too much you want it to continue to grow there's still some little ones coming up here and some new shoots and we want some lettuce so what i planted in here is the rainbow swiss chard i planted uh, i think it's rouge de ivor lettuce and i planted devil's ear lettuce which is one of my favorite varieties as most of you know if you follow us regularly as you can see here the tip of this one went a bit brown and I think one of the tomatoes has a bit browning but that's just because um, we hadn't moved the light up high enough it was just uh, during that little bit of adjustment period it's best to take the largest 
There's quite a bit of lettuce here. So it says to plant about three seeds in a pod. What had happened though is they all grew. So it's just removing little scragglers that we don't need just to make sure that the main plant is getting all the nutrition instead of these little ones. And that's kind of a normal thing even when you're gardening outside. Anything that doesn't look healthy, I just remove it. Same with when you're outside gardening. And that's why I say I think I would have probably done a harvest at about 20 or 22 days. I think 30 days is just a bit too long. They just got too big. Say so we're going to have a nice little salad tonight for dinner. It's also going to give the uh, the rest of the plants the ability to grow. Waited this long just because specifically for the video, um, for a harvest video. But I think like you could pick some every few days and it would probably benefit the rest of the plants more so than just doing one big harvest like I'm doing right now. Because now what's happening is it's letting a lot of light into these um, smaller plants. And you can see here my thyme back here, it's been, it's growing, but it's been struggling. So that's going to get a lot of light now since um, it has the ability to have light. Look at that salad. That's great. Um, I'm just going to remove these first leaves off of this plant and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to remove some of these unneeded greens because we want most of the energy to go to the top of this plant to produce fruit or flower then fruit. Some more rainbow swiss chard coming up. Uh, we've got another lettuce. I think this is like a butter crunch lettuce and a salad bowl lettuce. I'm trying a couple different ones. We got a nice harvest from it. And now I think I'm just going to water it because it's um, saying it's about three and a half liters and I'm just going to fill it back up to about four and a half liters. I only need a liter to get up to four and a half liters. So I'm going to add a liter and basically I'm just want to give it a shake. And for every liter, you want to add about five milliliters and it comes with measurements on this little cup here. So whoops, and it's going to go in there plant food B, five milliliters. You just want to mix it. And then the next thing we're going to do is we are going to add it. You just remove this little cap and it allows easy access to adding water. And you can watch this will go up as I add the water. So there's really no need. There's no spilling. It's really simple. Basically when um, the plants were first starting. We went, I think, about two weeks and didn't have to add water. But as the plants were growing and the roots grew, then we are adding more water regularly. You can see we're up to 4.5 uh, liters um, in the bottom of this. Well, that's how simple this is to use. I am very impressed, very happy with the product, very thankful for Let Pot for sending us this to try out. It has really encouraged me to look more into hydroponic growing because I have avoided it. I'm loving the results. Very little effort, very little worry. And we love the fact that, you know what, we have um, our timer set for the lights. They come on at a specific time every morning and go off at a specific time every night. There's literally nothing that we really have to do except add water and harvest some beautiful looking food from our little lead pot hydroponic growing system. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you like this and are interested in it, we will leave details on how to get yourself one of these as well um, from Let Pot so that you can go ahead and begin growing your indoor garden during the winter, just like us here at Plowman's Backyard.